Pez has come. Goddard! A goal for Paul Goddard on his debut for Derby. Five minutes into the second half. It was the 19th, the road back to the first division began, at home to newly promoted Wolves. New signings Trevor Putney and Alan Comfort in the Borough side, 21,000 at Ayrsham. It was a winning start. Only nine minutes had gone when Bernie Slavin poached with typical style to put Middlesbrough 1-0 up. It was a bright opening against the second division new boys, and Borough might have gone further ahead shortly later when Nicky Moen, of all people, got inside the box Alan Comfort, another new boys cross, and Moen blasted just over the bar. Middlesbrough weren't to be denied, though. A good setup down the left-hand side involving Peter Davenport, and another early chance, this time for Mark Proctor, arriving late and just wide. Proctor, still looking for his first goal since his return to Middlesbrough, found it soon after. This time from the other wing, Slavin the setup. And how about that for an opening day finish? 2-0 to Middlesbrough. Well in command. And Wolverhampton Wanderers learning that life in the second division was to be quite tough. Back they came, though, in the opening minute of the second half. Andy Much with the faintest of touches. Past Kevin Ball. And the Wolverhampton Wanderers fans had heart on the terraces. Wolves might have had another when Steve Ball charged through. Good save. And much from the rebound, twice was denied. New boy Alan Comfort was showing up well down the left. And when Mark Proctor found him midway through the second half, 69 minutes gone on the clock, Middlesbrough restored that two-goal advantage. Great cross from the left. And Peter Davenport rising at the far post, nodded home number three. Wolves, though, still had something to add. Robbie Dennison, the danger man, cutting in from the right-hand side, goes for the 1-2, and it's Nicky Moen who brings him down finally. Spot kick awarded. Andy Much had brought them back into it. Andy Thompson had the responsibility from 12 yards against Kevin Poole. 3-2. And Middlesbrough shaking just a little they needed a decisive last goal and it came Davenport reacting quickest good vision sees Slavin available and that's 4-2 and an opening win defeat followed at Leeds four days later though 2-1 an opening goal for Alan Comfort another 2-1 defeat came at Roker Park in front of 21,000 Burnley Slavin got another in And a shot coming in for Slaven, brilliantly pushed over by McCloskoe. Bernie Slaven, 32 goals he got last season. And he fires in the first real shot of this match. Big kickoff came at Ayrson Park against Millwall. The side managed by former Borough boss Bruce Rioc. A winning start for new manager Lenny Lawrence was followed four days later by defeat at the baseball ground. Wilkinson's pass going astray there, picked up by Fleming. This is McGinn. Robson making a good run. Oh, a nice early ball in from him, and nine minutes into the season, John Williams scores. Fleming with the throw. Robson. Beautiful ball over the top, some neat uh, football here from Coventry City. In it comes, oh, and they're exposed, David Smith there. 2-0. Phillips to pick. Volkner. Good run being made through the middle by Wilkinson. Oh, and a beautiful ball delivered into his path, a chance here. Oh, and superb finishing by Wilkinson. Borough are back in the game, how about that? Optimism was destined to soar as Borough made a scorching start to the season. On the opening day, three teenagers lined up for Borough in the big kickoff at Notts County. Jamie Pollock, Richard Lybird, and Alan Moore, who was destined for a spectacular start to the season. Wilkinson running into space, good ball from Wilkinson. 
Oh, he scored! A superb goal from Paul Wilkinson. Set up by John Hendry. And all that as a result of... Moore. Good run from Moore. Shot first time. Oh, tremendous goal. What a killer blow right on the half-time whistle. Again, slack defending at the back. Alan Moore picked that ball up halfway inside the county half. Squeezed his way through. Cross comes in, not a good one. Back with Moore, tries a first-time shot. Oh, it's there! Unbelievable. It was a mistake, and McSwiggan's got a chance. He's taken it too far. Pulled down, penalty. Mark Draper's got the chance to put Candy back in the game. He does. At the moment, but uh, he should still be able to get the distance. There it goes. Flip on, it's in! Gary Lund! Despite... Heath trying to let that one run. Not catching out. Robson's ball forward. Keeper came a long way. Hendry surely, 1-0, and the Borough are off and running. And it was Robson at the heart of it, and Hendry on the end of it. Pollock's little header, Wilkinson, Hendry. Always danger when Hendry gets it. Hendry still going, still Hendry. Hendry, it's all going his way, that's for certain. And now it's two. Goals so far, have you set yourself a target this season? Not at all, no. I mean, I think by the end of October last year I had 14 goals and I was flying at the time. And of course I was cropped, couldn't out for four months. Uh, so you never set your targets in this game. No problem with the ankle today, though. Everything looks clear for this season. Yeah, great. A good result and a great response from the fans here today as well, wasn't it? That's right. I mean, let's see, the, the board sort of uh, put the money where the mouth is, says, right, we're going for it this year. And the crowd have come out in their forces today. And, uh, it's up to them. I mean, uh, the ball's in their court. If they come and support, let's give us a support like today, then I'm sure we've been for a good season. It's there to be played first time. Must out. Built up with a flick. And Nick Barbie has given Middlesbrough a fantastic start at Highbury on his... Middles for a debut. Brian Robson and company back amongst the big boys. But the 1-0 lead. It's still a relatively fragile situation in Middlesbrough's favour at this stage. And one wonders how they would react if Arsenal can bounce back quickly. And right, they have bounced back. 1-1. Bruce Real leads the celebration. Uh, in the home matches. If you're involved at the professional level the way that I am, then you have uh, an automatic uh, optimism. And I'd have guessed that 11 years ago, I, I would have hoped that it didn't take 11 years to get there. Uh, now that it, it has, we, we've enjoyed the occasion of the Cup, Cup final and we want more of them. So uh, we don't really analyse where we've come from. We analyse where we are and where we need to be and where we want to be and the lessons that we've learnt this season have been many and the important thing, and I keep on stressing it, is it's easy to learn lessons. It's difficult to implement the changes and we've got to implement the changes at this club. We have to be ruthless in the way we implement them changes. A remarkable season began in dramatic fashion on the opening day when Ravanelli made his debut against Liverpool. Also making his high-profile debut was Emerson, Borough's £4 million signing from Porto. Emerson and Ravanelli totalling an £11 million investment by the Borough, itself a proud achievement by Chairman Steve Gibson. Mark Wright to take it. Oh, he's in there, yes! Sticking at the Ornaby. That wasn't in the Middlesbrough script. Curtis Fleming galloping down that left touch line in support. Back to Janino. Mark Wright's come out to confront him. Janino. Oh, must be a penalty. Liverpool in furious protest, but it's a penalty and it's a yellow card. I 
think possibly for McManaman, it's not immediately clear. And the ball to be placed on the penalty spot by Fabrizio Ravanelli. This to open his account in English football. Ravanelli gets his first goal, courtesy of the penalty. It's one apiece. And the Italian winding up the crowd. The white feather signals his arrival on Teesside. Collymore holding off Pearson. Here's McAteer. John Barnes beautifully done by Barnes. Wonderful goal. Absolutely magnificent. Middlesbrough trying to keep the pressure on. It's a pressure cooker atmosphere. Here's Cox. Into the six-yard box, Ravanelli! Well, he may earn himself a rebuke from the FA because you're not actually supposed to bear your chest in the Premiership this season. But Ravanelli, unable to resist his customary salute to a goal, 35 minutes gone, he gets his second on his Premiership debut, and it's 2-2. Michael Thomas on it first, Bjornaby can try again. Fowler! Robbie Fowler! 3-2 Liverpool! Janinho, proud. It's a hat-trick! It's 3-3. Three, three. David James on his backside had no chance with a ball which rolled agonisingly slowly past him. Uh, I was... I was really pleased with our uh, attacking display today. We, you know, we um, carved up a team like Liverpool quite a few times, um, where I felt a few, a couple of the Liverpool goals were bad mistakes by my defenders, which we, we can work on that and we can improve on that. Mm. Um, so that was the only disappointing aspect, as far as I was concerned. You know, the goals we give away. But Brevet under a little bit of pressure. Flag stays down. Ball is through far side. Charlton Athletic can get the opener. It's there. Charlton Athletic have taken the lead. Steve Jones sprang the Middlesbrough side trap. Cross comes in, Stan gets the touch. First side, Fista! And Jean Luca Fista stabs Middlesbrough level. Pedersen still complaining he didn't get a touch on the ball, which resulted in a corner. But Jean Luca Fista at the far side stabs Middlesbrough level. Borough one, Charlton one. Emerson. A flick by Emerson to Hignett, outside of the boot finds Kinder, Kinder running, Kinder sprinting, looking to try and create something, to Ravanelli! And Fabrizio Ravanelli, his first true touch in the game, the deftest of headers takes it past Andy Pedersen, and Middlesbrough have stolen the game at the death, two on their lead. Kinder. Stamp seemed to rather jump in with the tackle, but the officials saw nothing wrong. This is Merson. Paul Merson shot. There's inside the penalty area for Gascoigne's kick. Goalkeeper went for it. Radaby got it. And Gascoigne has it back. Still those seven to aim for. Still Gascoigne. Mills is alone but Saunders has made a great break expected the season began at Highfield Road where Borough had three new signings in the starting lineup Alan Boxic the Croatian striker with a World Cup pedigree was a new star man up front Cameroon international Joseph Desire Job joined a new look strike force and flamboyant Frenchman Christian Carambo was a new man in midfield here's Boxic showing good strength and a decent cross, Job! Middlesbrough have scored, and one of the debutants has got the opening goal. Here's Boxic, oh, it's two! No! Referee Barry Knight has ruled free kick. 
Thompson will take the free kick for Coventry. Colin Hendry's come forward. Eustace, it's 1-1. Poor marking by Middlesbrough. Boxic, saved by Hedman. Boxic, he scored. He is on the score sheet at last. His legs. And Middlesbrough have restored their lead. Oh, sharp challenge there by Gary Pallister motoring forward. Here's Boxic. It's three to Middlesbrough. But what a great contribution by the central defender, Gary Pallister. A perfect pass to Boxic to register his second goal. Controversial red card. 